by quite a few people. We have been hunkered down in our house the last couple months due to the pandemic, just trying to get on with life. But it is the middle of the summer, or close to the end of the summer, and we only have a couple weeks left until the girls go back to school or start school at home. So we thought we'd go on a quick little, maybe like a four day vacation to Kelly's Island here in Ohio and do a little bit of camping, something that we really haven't done in quite a long time. If you don't count RV camping, that is. Yeah, so we'll be tent camping this time around, which we haven't done since we were living in Italy. We did a little in Minnesota as well. Yep. Um, so we know what to do. You grew up camping like all the time. All the time. Tents. Um, but it's real camping. Yeah, so we had to buy our equipment and we found a site and we're off. So we got to pack things up and then hit the road. Rachel has a thing to say. We like tent camping, but we also like tiny cars. And those don't really go well together because you need a lot of stuff <laughs> to go tent camping. Well, we, we decided to bring a lot of stuff and everything we decided to bring doesn't necessarily fit into our tiny, small hatchback SUV. So we had to get a... We uh, got a topper. We bought it just in case we would need it. We thought maybe we could fit it all in. That wasn't the case. So we've got the topper up there with To be fair, I thought it would fit. And if we didn't bring the extra chairs and a bag of the beach toys beach toys i think we would have been fine also i packed my grill Almost, I can see it. I can see the island right there. Gotta just wait for the ferry to get back. I know, we were like a minute, a minute, a minute late and it pulled off. But we can wait. 30 minutes? So in order to get to Kelly's Island, we do need to take a ferry. It costs, what, $97 round trip for the vehicle and every passenger in our car. Uh, the girls get a little bit of a discount because they're under 12 years old. Uh, but now we need to wait for all of these cars to disembark so that we can get on and get over to the island. Because we're moving on the boat. Because we're moving on the boat, it feels like we're tipping over. It's like scary. RV camp setup time. This took us 45 minutes to set up two tents and get everything situated. Right, pump up air mattresses, just get up, yeah, everything out and all set up. One I would time. say setting up an RV is a little bit quicker. Although, pulling into your site is so much easier. You just back up your yeah, car. With, your, with our camera, with the lines, and yeah, we don't have to worry about the trailer behind us. So it was yeah. great.
Are you guys bored with this place already? Yeah, it's kind of boring. Yeah. All you see is trees, tents, campers, the fake swans, and the sunset. Why are there fake swans? I don't know. Somebody put up the, those. There's two fake swans. And they're just looking at each other. Over here on the dock? Yeah. They're fake, though. Yeah. Even though they look really real. They never move. Mariah just said they should make a wax figure of her. I don't know why. You think you're famous and that I you need I, a wax I, figure of yourself? So yeah, I think something's wrong with you. on the island but just a few feet from our campsite actually are these glacial grooves and a giant glacier millions of years ago was here and little rocks slid along as it melted and moved and shifted and smoothed out these really cool paths um, and so it's neat to see what the ice and the rocks did over years and years of time. The rock here on the island is limestone, and limestone quarries was a main industry on Kelly's Island for years. Um, so unfortunately, a lot of these really cool grooves have been dug up um, and taken away. You can actually see some points on the end where it's just been chopped off. Um, so I'm glad that some remain, because it's really neat. I want to hug the, the rocks. You can't hug rocks. But I want to add it to my rock collection. You're going to take all these rocks and put them in your rock collection? No, that's rude. You can't steal them. I want, to I want to move my rock collection here. Oh, yeah. You enjoying the hike? I wasn't prepared with my shoes. A little tricky. Those aren't good hiking shoes. No, not on this rocky path, not at all. Oh wait, I got the same. Yeah, it's under clouds and it's golden though look at that so what are you girls gonna do scare the seagulls okay you better go run <laughs> yes i'm saying your hair looks like this all the time anytime i start a video rachel always checks herself <laughs> out in the screen first and then she tells me why didn't you tell me my hair looks so bad Look bad. Mariah, your hair looks so bad. Thanks. That, that, I don't care. What about my hair? <laughs> yeah, yours is a mess. <laughs> so what we really wanted to say is one thing that we do really miss from being on the road is having good sunsets every so often. Mm -hmm. We do have the sun that sets in our backyard, right. which technically we should be able to see some great sunsets, except we have some really tall trees and the trees are great they're beautiful in our yard we love them and but they give they us good shade the in the afternoon in the back of the yard yeah. yeah but they do block our sunsets we see the sky turning orange and pink and they're like I can't see it. um between the leaves of the trees we see a little bit more in the winter once the leaves are gone true. but we do have a couple pine trees in the back there too so those always stay but this sunsets 
absolutely gorgeous. So right next to the North Loop hiking trail, which is about 100 yards away from the campground, is the old stone crusher building where they used to process all of the limestone that they would quarry from the island. It's actually pretty cool to see this building that's still here. They removed all the equipment, but the structure is still here. Fortunately, there's been a lot of people writing their names in the pillars and stuff like that, but it's still kind of kind of neat to explore. You this wrote your name on here? No, this is not my handwriting, but somebody wrote Mariah 2020 on here. I, I didn't think write- it was you. I don't write things on walls. I don't either. Well, your name's not on here, so we don't care. Uh, what the? This is, this is, um, <laughs> very cool. Is that your friend? No. It says it's cool, but I don't <laughs> think it really is. <laughs> recommend this one we haven't seen a soul out here um, yeah it's only about a mile loop to go all the way around so it's not too hard and being right on the water there in a couple different places where you can go out and be on the limestone as the water's coming in really fun you clean yet so compared to camping in an RV to camping in the tent what did you like I really liked sleeping in tent. It was fun. Just having your own space? That was bigger than your bed in the RV, huh? It's way bigger. How about you? I liked hearing the outdoors a lot because in an RV it's in insulated and you can't, can't really hear the outside. So you just heard all the bugs and the, all, all your neighbors? Well, the neighbors were talking a lot. <laughs> Which was kind of annoying. Well, it's time for us to pack up and head out. Three nights at the campground. Kind of wish maybe there was another one or two, but it was definitely a good trip. We have enjoyed it. We've already scoped out what sites we want to stay at next time. Yeah, there are a couple sites right on the water here, which is really nice. Yep. They don't have as much shade, but there are a couple that do, so. Yep, so we're gonna mark those on the map and get our reservation in early for next time. One thing we didn't get to do while we were here was kayak. The water was choppy our full our full days that we were here. So next time that's like top priority as soon as the water's clear. And it's yeah, so as far as camping in tents versus camping in RV, there are some big differences. Yeah. Your f biggest one? I can't stand up and change clothes. <laughs> Well, the tents that we bought are short, yes. and Rachel, even though Rachel is short, yeah. she has a hard time changing in a tent. I oh. grew up tent camping all the time, so I'm used to should. fumbling around inside of a tent <laughs> and changing clothes, yep. so something to get used to. Yeah, although the girls had two twin mattresses, so there was that the space in the middle that is tall for them to walk around and change. We had one queen mattress that took up the whole thing, so we really just didn't have any space. Yeah, other differences though, uh, just being outside in a tent, you are definitely outside all the time. Yeah, you get a little bit of visible privacy from your neighbors, but you hear everything that goes along all the time, something that you don't get in an RV where you can close your doors and close up. Mm -hmm. uh, we were lucky to have really good weather. It wasn't too hot, oh, yeah. it wasn't too chilly at night, um, but if you're in an RV, you have the option of running your heat or running your air conditioning, which you don't get in a tent. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and we were saying last night as we sat around the fire, we spent so much more time outside than compared to the RV. Yeah. Um, and obviously we were traveling full time. We had regular school and work to do. Mm -hmm. And so we were inside for a lot of that. But because really the tent is just where you sleep and change your clothes, we're outside so much more. Yeah. Uh, and it was great. Well, and a couple times, even when we were in great locations, we would hit, you know, eight, nine o'clock and be like, we, we're done for the day. Go inside and watch a show or watch a movie, mm -hmm. something that we didn't do here. Uh, we stayed one up late and we looked at the stars yep. and we weren't streaming shows or movies, which we would have done if we had all our connections in the RV. No. So we are definitely going to be doing this a lot more next year, hopefully, and we'll keep you updated as our change from RV life to camping yeah. vacations. I mean, it is a vacation. It's not just it living in a tent. True, so, truly a vacation. Yeah. yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.